Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So in this video, we are going to learn about events in JavaScript and this video is part of our Good Evening JavaScript series. So let's begin. Let me quickly share my screen here. I think it's visible. Uh, yes. So what exactly is an event in JavaScript? So any changes or any, uh, any, any like changes in state and behavior of an HTML object can be uh, referred to as an event. So what does that mean? It means that whenever you perform an activity that uh, that uh, eventually results in some kind of change in that HTML page can be referred to as an event. Suppose uh, if I click on a button or if I drag a text or if I suppose click on any button in my keyboard or suppose when the page is being loaded uh, it triggers an event. So this is how it is. This is an uh, event in JavaScript. So there are many kinds of event or there are several kinds of event in JavaScript. Um, we don't have to go through all of the events. There are some events that are very uh, important or you can say that there are very significant in JavaScript. So we are going to browse through that events, those events. So some of the common events we have are on load, on click, on dbl click on mouse over on mouse out and on uh, key down so what does that uh, on load mean uh, wait a second guys so what does uh, unload means this event this particular event is uh, triggered when we uh, suppose uh, load a page when a page is being loaded this uh, particular event is being triggered on click you know when you click on an uh, on a button uh, this uh, on click event is triggered on double click when you click on a uh, button uh, when you double click on a button uh, this uh, event is triggered on mouse over when we uh, place our mouse over an uh, html object this uh, on mouse over event is triggered on mouse out uh, when we leave our mouse cursor over that uh, element this event is uh, being called and then uh, on key down so this event is triggered when we press a button in our keyboard every keystroke uh, is being registered so when we press a button um, on our keyboard uh, this uh, on key down event is triggered so there are some more events that you can check i have given the link uh, as you can see here there are several events on w3 schools you can go through them so let's just jump into some kind of practical okay otherwise uh, you will not get the hang of it okay so here i am in my uh, REPL so i'm quickly creating a REPL uh, oh. yes so creating a REPL and i'm going to show you a basic example how this works uh, hope you'll find it easy just wait a second and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please just subscribe uh, it helps a lot uh, just wait a second we are going to write everything from scratch uh, yes let's open it in a new tab okay let's do this okay so it's working so we have our index.html we have script.js hope it's clear okay so let's write a basic html code okay so suppose HTML okay then the head tag okay type equals text javascript my bad oops so this is how it is and we are going to write a text here suppose
yeah let's keep it that simple okay if i refresh it yes you can see here okay so this is a basic html page i don't think uh, you need any kind of explanation for this and if you haven't covered uh, html basics just cover it and then uh, see this video otherwise you will not understand uh, anything so this is how it is and if i write something like uh, suppose uh, this pair and this p tag has an uh, has uh, an text saying that please change this text so we'll change this text but i need uh, i need to uh, fix some id for it let's see it text one yes so now what i'll do is i'll uh, quickly move to my javascript file and here i will say uh, suppose um, i'll write like this document dot get let's do this this way uh, let's try it this way okay let's give this body um, an id okay. suppose let's give it page and now i will go to my javascript file and write here suppose document dot get sorry get uh, element get element by id now i am uh, writing here page which is the id of my body tag in index.html and now here i'll write the event okay suppose my event is on load okay so whenever this on load event will be called so this will do what when the page will be loaded this on load event will be uh, triggered okay so on load let's go with uh, document dot id um, let's do it like this okay so this function will be called uh, will be executed when this uh, on load uh, event is triggered so let's go like uh, document dot get element by id okay so let's go with uh, text one dot inner html so something like changed okay so this should work um, i don't know this should work so what what this code is doing is that you know uh, so whenever the page is loaded okay the pe the p tag the um, text inside this p tag is being changed okay so let's go with successfully changed i think something is wrong here let's see let's see uh, if that changes uh -huh. it's not changed Oh, I forgot the quotation here. If I uh, reload this page, hope this change. Yes, it, it is changed. So you can see here. So this is a basic function, or uh, this is a basic example of how on load uh, event uh, is triggered. Now you can do much more things here. Suppose if I have something like a button, okay, and suppose button ID is something like btn1 and then button and it says um, so click here to change text let's see okay so we have a button here um, and the button says that click here to change text so we can use this button whenever we click on that button let's do one thing let's make it more interesting let uh, let's make it double click to change text okay so whenever uh, the user double clicks on that on this button this text will again get changed okay so this is our basic idea behind uh, placing a button in this uh, html index.html file so if i go here and write something like this uh, 
suppose I write here uh, document dot get element by id uh, button uh, btn1 i think yes btn1 dot on dbl click okay and then you do what you write this function okay so i'll just copy paste this code so that i don't have to rewrite it again let's uh, pass a text like uh, double clicked okay so if i go here refresh and then if i double click here you can see here the text is changed so this is a basic understanding of uh, how events work in javascript i think uh, you will understand more in the upcoming videos that will um, that will be posted so we'll get to know about uh, some other more events in upcoming video so till then uh, subscribe to our channel and please head, hit that like button if you um, have enjoyed so far